and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and this is my DT uh, box from Pear Tree Treasures. Uh, if you're not familiar with Pear Tree Treasures, it's a retail craft shop in Ontario, Canada. So for all of my Canadian viewers and friends, if you're nearby, pop on into the shop and check out all of the amazing goodies that Monica carries. So she um, did ask me what I like to craft with um, in general and she curated this box of goodies just for me and I love everything in here. She did such an amazing job of um, you know really pinning down <laughs> things that I would love. So um, off the top here, we have some 3D paper flowers, which I do love to make on my own, but it's so nice when you have gorgeous flowers already made like this so that you can focus maybe on other areas of your project that might be a little bit time intensive. So there's the mini blooms in coconut and then there's the, um, I guess the regular size in olive. Both of these are from Kaiser Craft and you can already sort of get a sneaky peek of how well um, she's coordinated everything for me so that I can use all of this together on the same project. So um, fantastic. So those are going to be really fun to work with. There's She even gave me a uh, full-size bottle of Nouveau Drops in bottle green. And it's interesting because this is a metallic. So I'll, I'm really curious. Um, I actually may already have this color. I have to double check. Um, so, but it's... Um, it looks like it's going to match perfectly with the papers and with the flowers. And, um, oh, this is cool. So she even gave me a tool. So I have not tried these out. So Spellbinders has a sort of foil um, cutting system, I suppose. There's like the uh, mat that you can cut onto. There's a plastic sort of guide that helps you trim your foil. So it's specifically to help you um, trim your foil, which I I don't have that system. I use um, a magnetic mat and steel ruler, which I really, really like. But I'm curious to uh, learn the difference between the foil blade and the paper blade because it's, it is specifically designated for the different materials. So I, I'm i definitely curious to try this out. So that's cool. Um, and oh, this is awesome. So um, I, I did mention to Monica that I love interactive cards. And so this is a really cool die set um, that is in Monica's shop and it's from Hero Arts. And it, it looks a little bit deceptive, but at the top here where it's straight, that's actually not a cut line. That's actually a score line. So this uh, die set helps you create peekaboo doors that are rounded. So this is something that is, um, yeah, you could sort of achieve this uh, if you have nested circle dies and you want to do some partial die cutting, but this just makes it so much easier to create that peekaboo door mechanic, which I think is really, really cute. And having it as a separate die like this and not sort of built into a, um, like a cover plate means that you can, um, place these wherever you want on your card and the fact that we get multiples and in different sizes means you can really tailor it to whatever image you want to um, be behind the door when it opens up so you can really customize it to fit you know whatever you want to stamp behind there whether it's an image or or even a sentiment so so I love love that um ooh, pretty so this is, I think this is actually from Yana's um, newest collection with Spellbinders. This is Magnolia Glimmer Blooms. And it's gorgeous. So you get the Glimmer Plate, which um, is this beautiful um, magnolia spray and then you get the coordinating die to cut that out too 
So if you want that as a separate piece, then um, then you have that die. So that's really pretty. I I definitely want to give that a try. Um, wow, I'm loving everything so much. I don't know which one I'll work with first. This is going to be awesome. So this is from Concord 9th. I don't know when this was released, but this helps you to create an infinity card, which I've actually never made an infinity card before. And this one's special because it actually um, will uh, create a circle card. And so I thought that was rather unique about it too. And then on top of that, you get, I mean, you get the die that cuts the mat uh, layer that goes um, in the center here, but you also get some really all-purpose dies that you can use, um, you know, obviously with everything that's going on here, but also on other cards and projects as well, because we get two talk bubbles, one that's more rounded and one that's more square, and there are two sentiment um uh, design die plates that cut into your card. So it just cuts out, in this case, the word celebrate. And, um, it, there's no outside cutting edge. So it leaves, um, sort of that negative image in your project. And then this one, um, reads make a wish. And then you even get a little banner die. So I always think that dies like these, like little banner dies, talk bubbles, things like that, they're so general purpose. It's really nice to have a nice selection of those in your stash. And I always welcome um, die sets that throw in these extras because um, they're just so versatile and so useful. So that's going to be an exciting one to craft with. And then this is awesome. This is so gorgeous. I love Graphic 45. This is one of their uh, deluxe collector's edition, which I think has more papers in it than um, the standard um, paper pad would. And this collection is Nature Notebook. So already kind of get a hint that it's going to have a lot of florals and a lot of... Um, imagery from nature and then included is um two each of 12 double-sided 12 by 12 papers so that's going to be um 24 sheets in total then we get a chipboard um a sheet of chipboard embellishments and then two sheets of six by 12 stickers so let me quickly just kind of go through these papers so if this is anything like um, the previous uh, deluxe edition that I've worked with, usually there's like, um, you know, a handful of papers or a set of papers that are more kind of subtle, monochromatic, and um, you could almost treat them almost like a solid because they are they are more subtle and then you get some papers that are a little bit busier a little bit more colorful um have bolder prints or patterns and so it kind of looks like that's the case with this is that you get a really really nice mix so everything coordinates beautifully together you can um, kind of mix and match these papers so you can see they're double sided. It's it's really nice weight too. I would say um, maybe 60, 65 pound. And so that's gorgeous. And then each of these sheets also, it does also have a name and a product number if you wanted to buy the sheets individually uh, because maybe you could just need um, more of a particular uh, page for the project that you're working on. So really, really gorgeous. I think I'll make a mini album with um, with this. And with so many papers, I could probably make two, I'm guessing. I guess it just depends on the size of the mini album. Ooh, that's a pretty one. And this one's, I do love that they, um, I don't know if they always do this, but I remember the other deluxe edition, um, paper pad I had had a design a page like this too where you get a lot of different border strips because these can be really really helpful um just to add that little extra touch to a page in your mini album or your scrapbook layout if you are a scrapbooker oh these are really cute too 
Ooh. So I love that there's just different scale of things. So we've got some small um, cut aparts that you can cut out, maybe re sort of distress the edges after you cut them. I mean, this looks gorgeous as a full page um, uh, collage like this as well. But then we get these, which are um, a little bit larger in scale. So just depending on your project, um, you can choose whichever one works best. And then this is um, sort of the the cover <laughs> print. So you can see it's so pretty. It's going to be hard to cut into this one. It's so perfectly laid out. So that is um, all of the papers that come in this uh, collection. And then here are the sticker sheets, which if um, you want to sort of bulk up your stickers ever and make them feel a little bit more like they are a chipboard embellishment, you could always peel them up and then stick them onto some heavyweight cardstock. You would have to fussy cut around it, but you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect cut. You can sort of cut into the edge of your, um, your uh, heavyweight cardstock a little bit if you if you needed um but that's a way to kind of give um these just a little bit more um dimension when you go to add it to your project and as well uh a lot of times especially with um the actual chipboard elements i i like to sometimes use these as tuck spots on my mini album pages and so i'll maybe um maybe put a brad through the hole that's already there and, and attach it to my page base so that it can actually swing freely and it's not glued down at all. So, you know, it's a nice um, place to kind of tuck a photo behind. But if you want to turn any of your stickers into something that um, is sort of like you, these chipboard elements, putting them onto um, some cardstock before you stick it onto your project is another way of um, you know using them so that you can actually use it as a little tuck spot or if you do want it to be, have that little hole and have that little sort of tag aspect to it you could always um, kind of punch your own holes into any of these some of them even like these do already come with the hole punched out so lots of different ways to um, to use the elements in here, but I do love that they give us both uh, stickers and the chipboard um, embellishments. So gorgeous, gorgeous paper pad, lots of fun die sets to work with. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to dive into first because I just love it all. But when I do craft with this amazing, um, uh, collection of goodies. I will be sure to link to those projects at the end of this one. Thank you so much and until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day!